So today we've got special guest, Dave Savory. So while he's here, we decided to take advantage of him and get his first impressions on our Pell 104 contractors kit. Mm -hmm. That said, let's take a look. So Dave, drum roll please. Here is the Pell 104 contractors kit. You are a contractor. This is a kit designed for you. Exciting so, looking box. I do like a hard case. So here, feel the feel the uh, feel the um, feel the Oof. quality there. Is that uh... like I say? I do do like a hard case. I'm always always a bit suspicious of equipment manufacturers who sell you very expensive pieces of equipment that uh, come in a soft case because they're not going to survive for five minutes on the back of my van with all my there metal work rattling around. We wanted to give you a grab bag, effectively a, a kit that you can you can take. That's all your stuff you're going to need and you can take it to site. Pick up, get out, do and your it's energy logging. In a, a nice contained kit. You know, if you're going to spend, like Dave says, a few quid on a piece of equipment, you want it contained, you want it in there. And actually on the inside, which Dave hasn't seen yet, um, uh, we've actually got some foam cladding as well in there, and I have done a bit of an unboxing video on this already on the channel, just showing people He's what's there. He's only custom foamed it. But uh, yeah, so this is this is Dave's sort of first look at this. So you can see we've got the uh, the Pell 104, but it's in our uh, sort of foam tray that we've put in there to to keep it nice and safe. See, I'm used to the Pell 51, which is the single phase. Yeah, it's wanting a little bit beast. bigger. It's yeah, sort of that's a larger, that's, that's a larger, larger, chunkier version. Chunkier thing, because this is three phase, of course. Yeah, but it will support single phase if that's your bag. Yep, single phase three phase, two phase, split phase, whatever you want, even DC. More and more contractors are getting into this now. They want to know where to start. Well, we thought, let's put a kit together, let's put a bundle together so that they don't have to do any real thinking about it because one of the things with this, and you've probably seen this a little bit with the Pell 51, Dave, is the sort of accessories and things that you need with it, you know, and, and sometimes when people are buying it, it puts them off a little bit because they, they know they need this, but they're not quite sure. Have I got everything? Is it all in there? Well, with the contractor's kit, we've tried to put everything the, the, in there. The, the idea is it, it, it is all there and it's all good to go. Well, let's, yeah. have, let's have a little fish have around, a look. What's in we, there? So, so, as we said, we've got the Pell 104, I We've got three Rogowski clamps. Yeah, so the, the Pell actually takes three current inputs, so that's the lines and then it calculates the neutral. So there's three of these flexible type Rogowski coils. Interesting, I see that's color coded there. Is that something that comes out? Yeah, so you actually or, you oh, actually oh, have the, the the normal Chauvin our new way of doing these things with our products is we have the color coded little clips that clip onto the side of the cables and also go on the top of the instrument there to mark up your terminals as well. So, so you can set your own color coding on. Oh, yeah. Exactly. That's actually, that's and that's the same with the same getting. with the voltage leads as well, which we'll probably look at in a minute. So the Rogowski coils, Dave, you'll be familiar with these in the Pell 51, but really for the sort of typical installations that you're looking at, these are the sort of the go-to things really for Yeah, the, these are excellent sensing. because a lot of current sensors, CT clamps, whatever, they're, they're often too large to actually get into anywhere that's uh, a bit tight, but these are obviously have a lot of flexibility. There is a little arrow on there. You must make sure that arrow is pointing towards the load. <laughs> That's one of, number one tech support <laughs> issue. Have you got your yeah. arrow the right way round? Even I've had that one before. Kevin, this is giving me some duff numbers, and yeah, was, oh yeah. But you can um, also wrap these around up to three times around the the circuit and the test or the tail or whatever. As long as you tell the instrument you've done that yeah. and how many wraps there are, whether it's one, two, or three. I mean, it's worth saying these measure AC currents. So, and these are actually with the PAL, I think you can go up to about 10,000 amps or something like that with these. I mean, chances are we're probably not gonna be getting up to that sort of level. But these are for AC currents. We have got DC clamps that are available and we've got a, a range of hard jaw clamps that are available as option accessories. But we put these in the contractor kit because really, and I think you probably agree with this, Dave, these will do most of what an electrical contractor is looking to do. They'll yeah. get inside, you know, a bit of conduit, a trunk in within the distribution board. You can sort of wrap it around the cables. The, the size of it is, you know, is big enough for most things that you're going to sort of try and measure. It reaches the parts other clamps cannot reach. What else is in here? Wow, what's, what's, this, what's this gadget here? This is, looks like a, a fairly... Yeah, that's, a, that's an interesting little bit that we've included in there because... That goes into your ports there. Yeah, so the normal way of, of running a Pell is off just a figure of eight lead and you power it in the bottom of the, yeah, the, bottom of the Pell off the figure of eight lead. Now, sometimes you will know, particularly with maybe commercial installations, industrial installations, where you want to do your login, there might not be a three pin socket. So how do we fix that? Well, or that we socket do, might be on a different face. Or the socket might be on a different face. So, so with this, what we do with this is we can actually use the mains adapter to power the Pell from the circuits under test. So we connect the voltage leads up through the mains adapter and it taps those off 
and connects it into the Pell That's and actually clever, gives us that. So it's just a way of achieving the powering of the Pell because the Pell does need to be powered during the logging session. There is a small battery, it does have a battery in there. doesn't it? But that's just for short brown out blackouts. Exactly. So the battery there is just to really keep it running while there's a power disruption and to record the fact that there was a power disruption, not to actually power the instrument for the whole maybe one month logging period. Because the SD card can actually hold quite a lot of data. Oh yeah, you, you could log for months depending yeah, on what, you, you what you're logging on. Long there. Time. Yeah. Obviously, you mentioned the SD card, Dave. The SD card is included, so you've got the SD card in there as well. So you never need to take it out there, do that. you? Because th this does have Wi-Fi, so you can... Yep, and we've got a, uh, and you've got a USB, got USB well, download so cable is included. You can in the connect case. directly to, to the computer, to the PC. There's your USB port down there. Uh, network port as well, I spot. Yep, Wi-Fi. And you can put a SIM card in it and log into it really? via the, wow, uh, okay. the network. <laughs> so uh, yeah, connectivity-wise, this is why we included the PEL 104, because the PEL 104 really gives you everything that the PEL 103's got, and the PEL 103 is really the sort of industry standard power and energy logger that's you know really popular within the industry. But the PEL 104 just adds that extra connectivity and a few features like alarms and alerts and other things in there that really just take it to the next level. Yeah, of course, if you network it, you can actually set up your PEL network and access it remotely, can't you? Yes. To, see, to see what's going on, what it's doing. So the, 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 the software for these PELs, or the basic software, yeah. it's just downloadable off the website. It is, it? it's freely available. And you can even share that with your customers. So, the, so the, the, the PEL transfer software, you can download off the website website and actually you could give a copy of that software or give them the link to that software to the customers and you can share those files and your customers can actually get in and drive the data and look at the graphs and all yeah. that good stuff which is great but if you want to create nice looking PDF reports with maybe a business logo on and stuff we've got the data view software which is the reporting software and we've included a, a license in the kit so you've got so that that's well. normally a paid software package. that's normally yeah that's but, normally, but you've got normally included a paid in the option kit. which we include in the kit in here Very as nice. well so you've got like we said we wanted to try and include everything in the box you don't have to think about anything else so we've also got the voltage connections on here which come on these little reeling boxes dave so uh, that's an interesting one so very good. Uh, I, I, you have to pull both cables with these for it to I, I would go for that and also so, make sure that the screw is, you know, properly screwed in the back. Right, they're magnetised. They are magnetised, so you can clonk that onto uh, a distribution board or panel and keep your leads. One of the things you find when you're doing power and energy logging is you've got leads everywhere. So yeah, that, anything you can do to keep these neat in these little reeling boxes, like little mini extension leads really for your test leads that keep everything there and keep them neat and out of the way. Very clever. So we've obviously got four of those in there. Another thing we've included as well, which can help sometimes with making connections, is these little magnetic probes. They are great. I have used these with my Power 51. When you're at a distribution board, you can obviously stick that on the end. It's got a, a little magnet, and you can pop that directly onto the output of your RCBO yeah. or your MCB. Uh, yeah, that, that's great. Yeah, and they've also got holes through here. Sometimes people like to put like a cable tie through or something to secure them in position as well. So, yeah, they're just a, another option for connections. And we have actually had people using these, you know, with their MFTs and other testers as well of things that they want to do because it's just, they are convenient. You just pop them on and they magnet, magnet into place. So pretty much, Dave, that's everything that's in the kit. What do you what do you think of the bundle? I think it's great, mate. As a, as a grab-to-go kit, everything's there, isn't it? You've thought of everything, even things like the, the, the colour coding there. It's just mm -hmm. genius. Genius. So hopefully that's what you expect of Chauvinano. You know, it's, these things have been tried, tested, used, and, you know, they they do the job, you know, and that's why why people are using the Pell as the sort of industry standard for power and energy logging and putting it all in this nice kit, this like sort of grab kit for contractors, I think just, you know, gives everybody what they want. And yeah, nice and I've said myself, I think energy logging is the next big thing contractors ought to be in. I've got a whole very boring video about the thing where I've been playing with the Power 51 because it's just so useful to see uh, where you're, where your energy is going, how your installation is is working, and demand as well. What what? When are the peak demands? Are the demands exceeding the supply? It, it's just it can answer all sorts of questions about any given installation. I had, I had mine running. I haven't looked at the results yet. I had mine running just recently on a, a little old lady's house where she's uh, having to pay horrendous electricity bills for reasons we can't see why because you know, she can't be running any kind of great loads there. It's not like she's got. Um, electric heating or anything, but uh, I've, I've left my Power 51 logging away, and we'll get to the bottom of that. But that's the kind of where you need this. I kind think of that's instrument. exactly what people are getting yeah. into. And we're seeing a lot of people, uh, uh, particularly in the renewable sector, 
looking at these, you know, they're going in to do a renewals mm. installation. They need to know for the size of a battery system, for the size of the PV system, what is the usage within that business before they install it. You know, they don't want to install all these batteries and find they put too many or they put too little. So we've got quite a few people who are actually using these in the renewable space now as a pre-survey tool. Yeah, well for me on my own house, when I ran out my own house back in June, uh, it was quite interesting to see how much solar energy I was wasting yeah. uh, because my, I'm not taking full advantage of my panels and how I could change my ways to perhaps utilise uh, some of my solar energy so that I'm not exporting quite as yeah. much as, as I currently am. But yeah, it, without that kind of instrument, you, you just don't know what's going on behind the scenes, do you? So yeah. I, I think as a kit, that's great, and that's the kind of thing that you know, like you can you can pick up, run with, leave on site, log in away, and then come back, pack up, move on to the next yeah. one. So if you're an electrical contractor and you like the looks of the contractor kit, and maybe you want to have a look at it, you want to have a demo, you know, you want to see it in more detail, I have already done a sort of introduction unboxing or what's in the box type video on this, and we have got a lot of content on how to use the Pell 104 and all those sort of things on the YouTube channel. So please check out those videos. But if you'd like to see one, you'd like more information, you'd like a demo, please drop a message down in the comments and we'll be sure to get in touch. And uh, obviously we can have a chat some more. So thanks for watching the video and we'll see you again next time.